Assalamualaikum and good day all. My name is Nautika Umairah binti Sumadi, a final year student in Bachelor of Science Applied Chemistry at UATM Aropolis. Welcome to my presentation. So today I'm going to present my review paper thesis and the title of Modification of Pineapple Fiber, PAF, as a reinforcement filler in polypropylene PP composite. Supervised by Dr. Nur Hafizah J. Ismail. Here is my presentation content. So we start with the introduction. Background of the study, pineapple fiber puff is one of the natural fiber which has better mechanical properties like hard crystallinity and strength. Puff is the best used natural fiber in thermoplastic because of its cellulose reach. It is also demonstrate excellent mechanical and physical properties relative to the other natural fibers. This review topic therefore explore the ability of puff in polymetric properties to act as a reinforcement filler. For the problem statement, several studies have shown the puff has incredible mechanical characteristic and can be used for the manufacture of composites of reinforced polymers. However, there are disadvantages of puff such as poor hydrophobic polymetric compatibility. To improve compatibility, this limitation requires several treatment such as alkaline treatment and the coupling agent. Next scope of the study, the performance result will be analyzed by instruments such as use scanning electron microscopy SEM to evaluate composite surface morphology and Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy FTIR used as qualitative control for the chemical shift administered in the path before and the after the treatment. Significant of the study, automotive industry are increasingly demanding materials and with sound suspension capabilities, including lower weight of fuel efficiency, reduced health risks, and environmentally sustainable architecture. Thus, the use of natural fiber is highly in demand in industry over carbon fibers, man made glass. Objective of the study first to investigate and compare the properties of modification in puff. Second, to evaluate the properties of untreated and treated puff filled with PP composite using FDIR, SEM and water absorption, ASTM D570 method. Now, let's move to the second part which is the teacher review. Modification technique, as the major component in determining the fiber quality and quantity, the puff extraction procedure is vitally significant. It may be extracted manually or mechanically. Okay, first, manually. Traditionally extracted on the long bench using a scraping implement called a ketchup. There are a few major phases required as seen in the figure here. After a few reviewers were made, in comparison to mechanical extraction, good quality fiber are generated by hand extraction. Next, mechanical extraction is the most efficient and environmental uh, friendly method of obtaining fiber of sufficient quality and quantity. The usually machine is called the pineapple decarticator machine as the figure. This machine is mounted on the three different rollers. First, the feed roller a leaf scratch roller and the serrated roller. The method started by passing the leaf through a feed roller then scrape off the waxy covering. Then the gap was created by a tight roller. Then the leaf travelled through the thick connected blade which smashed the leaf for the rating microorganism for the entrance. Also, the technique is faster. The mechanically extracted fiber are louder than those manually removed. Modification technique of chemical treatment is modifying the surface of puff has been conducted to various methods such as alkaline treatment, sealant treatment, acetylation, polymer grafting and azimuthic treatment. The use of chemical reagents for modifying the fiber increases the mechanical properties and resilience of the fiber reinforced cement composite and enhance the addition between the surface of the fiber and the polymer metric by minimizing the absorption of the composite water. From the table, we can see that treatment under alkaline and sealant treatment is the best. This is because alkaline treatment gives rough 
uh, fiber based surface that have greater mechanical interaction and higher interface resistance between the fiber matrix while sealant treatment improve uh, durability and decreases the fiber water absorption leading to the hydrophobic composites sealant including uh, three Aminopropyl trimethoxysiline, APS, commonly used for the coupling agent, reduce the amount of silenols containing hydroxyl group absorbed into the fiber material surface. The variation of parameters such as the concentration and type of solution treatment were discussed respectively and the tensile strength was increased followed by the increase of concentration of solution. However, the higher concentration above of 5% of NaO and 3% of silane solution have caused the tensile strength to be decreased. Next, based on the various study have been analyzed, puff to reinforce with PP composites. Fiber loading also play a significant role in determining the tensile properties. It is shown that reinforcement of treated puff with PP has improved the tensile properties significantly. Fiber loading exceeding 40% would be cause tensile strength to be decreased. For testing and characterization, first is FDR. This figure show that FDR is distinguished by silane treated fiber compared with the untreated fibers. A is the untreated puff and B is chemical interaction of silane with puff. The between of these two is untreated puff showed that the OH vibration from the cellulose peaks was broad while the rate of OH stretching peak was marginally decreased for the treated puff by the chemical reaction of the cellulose hydroxyl group with silanes. The result reported in this article also show the appearance of OH, CH and C double bond O peaks. However, the peak that appeared from this article show sharper. Additionally, a sharp peak for CH bonding is visible, which is generated by PP composites. This result indicates that the element bonding was changed when fiber loading was mixed with PP composites. Second is SEM. The composite fracture behavior under tensile loading was investigated using scanning electron microscope. Excellent interface bonding enables mechanical fiber metric interface interlocking to reduce the fiber exhaust and gaps between the fiber and metric, hence offering increased mechanical qualities. The mechanical characteristic of the path-based composites also increase when the fiber metric adhesive level is increased as a consequence of uh, sodium hydroxide and silane treatment, which are relatively less fiber pullout and fiber metric debonding compared with the untreated puff reinforced composite, as shown in the figure. Last, water absorption. The result of this study show that the percentages of water absorption have risen with the rising soaking time. The rise in fiber content improved the water absorption percentage where more absorbent area are possible, they are more open place, created by the elimination of lignin and pectin, which lead to the higher water absorption. Next, through the cutting edge of the samples, composite absorbed water. Between 1.4 and 1.6% of water was absorbed by puff PP composites. A higher amount of cellulose offers strong mechanical characteristic in the fiber, but it increases hydrophilicity, which result in increased water absorption. This is the last part, which is conclusion and recommendation. To conclude, Puff reinforced PP composite have beneficial properties once been treated. It is found that physical and mechanical properties of puff PP composite can be further enhanced through the chemical treatment while moisture absorption can be reduced through the alkaline and the addition of the coupling agent such as silane. Modification of fiber surface and fiber loading is the crucial factor that has to take into account in order to improve the interfacial addition fiber as reinforcement filler composites. For recommendations, it is good to have a strong collaboration between researchers and industry in order to stimulate the usage of natural fiber over synthetic fiber. Fiber extraction, chemical treatment and testing characterization using FDR, SEM and water absorption must be monitored more closely for the modification of puff PP composites since the information contained in these findings appear to be insufficient. These recommendations will support better data for continuing further study. And this is the references of diagram and any info from my review paper thesis. Thank you for watching and bye.